Welcome back everyone. Starting this video, let's take a look at some of the components available in the Material Lab package. The lab package contains components that are still under development and might need a bit of work before they are part of the core package. However, they are at a stage where you can start using them in your applications. We have a couple of lab package components to learn about. So in this video, let's learn about the loading button component. Now the first thing you have to do is install the lab package. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add at MUI slash lab or npm install at MUI slash lab. Next, let's create a new file in the components folder. MUI loading button dot tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the stack component from Material UI core and replace the div tag with the same. I'll also add spacing is equal to 2 and direction is equal to row. This is just to add some spacing between the buttons we are about to create. To add a loading button, we import the component from the lab package. Import loading button from at MUI slash lab. Now a loading button behaves very similar to the regular button component we've had a look at in the video on buttons. However, the loading button makes it easy to show a loading state with the help of the loading prop. I'm going to add a loading button with and without loading prop set to true. That will help you clearly see the difference. So loading button, the text is submit, variant is equal to outlined. I'm going to make a copy of this and set the loading prop. If you now include this component in app.tsx, and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the loading button component when loading is false and loading is true. When loading is true, the submit text is replaced with the circular progress and the button is disabled. This is something you would otherwise do for a good user experience. Now it is built right into the button component using the loading prop. Now it is also possible to control the loading text inside the button. Let me add a new button. Loading button. The text is fetch data. Variant is equal to outlined. And loading indicator is equal to the text loading. I'm going to make a copy of this and add the loading prop. If you now take a look at the browser, the first button has the text fetch data and when loading is set to true, the text loading followed by ellipsis, which is the value of the loading indicator prop is displayed. The button is still disabled. Finally, you can also use loading buttons with icons. Import save icon and then add a new loading button. The text is going to be save. Variant is equal to outlined. And we're going to set loading position is equal to start and start icon is equal to the save icon. Make a copy of this loading button and add the loading prop. If we take a look at the browser, you can see in our first button, we have the icon and the text. In the loading state, the start icon 
is replaced with the circular icon in the same position. You can do the same for end icon by setting loading position to end. Not every button in your application has to be a loading button. If you have some sort of an async operation like fetching data or submitting form data, make use of a loading button. All you have to do is set the loading prop based on the value of the async operation. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at our second lab component, which is the date picker component. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.